Hello, Shamai, and welcome back to the Welshman's Journey, where we are still at Barrytown United, and today we face a tough away trip to Aberystwyth in the Welsh Premier League, a team who have not really done that much so far this season, and since last episode, if we take a look at our form, it's a little bit hit and miss. We lost 2-0 to TNS in last episode, and then we had two fantastic, steely, gritty performances to win 1-0 against Newtown and 2-0 against Llandidno. Both games which I wanted to get take maximum points from, and I was ex- especially uh, happy with the Llandidno result. And unfortunately, another game I targeted as a win was the one against Carmarthen, but they have picked up a little bit of form recently. So to lose to them when they're, they're in decent form isn't the worst result in the world. But again, it, it was one of those where at the end of the season, if things go a little bit wrong, then that's the type of game you can look at really and kind of pinpoint the games that you should have won. And we've just lost 5-3 to Bangor City as well. We were never really in the game. We were always two goals behind and there were a lot of goals in the last 10 minutes. I mean, it was, I think we were 2-0 or 3-0 down going into the last 10 minutes. And it ended up 5-3. So there's been some absolutely mental scorelines this season. And we're playing against Aberystwyth today. So if you take a look at the table then, we're pretty much where we expect to be. We did get as high as 4th after those two wins in a row. But we're 8 points after 7 games. And you can see there's 4 teams on 8 points already. And Aberystwyth are 2 positions above us, but on 9 points. So a win today could take us as high as fourth. It's important not to lose against Aberystwyth. These away games are very, very important just to not lose the game. And if we take a look at the team for today, then a couple of changes. We have Joe Mazzaro in goals, who hasn't really been playing very well lately. So his position is in a little bit of jeopardy. Dylan Reese, Ryan Evans, Curtis Watkins and Johnny Lynch across the back. Um, Ryan Evans and Johnny Lynch really, really struggling. We're struggling in that position overall because our other left back, Max Penk, is playing terribly but I'm, I'm tempted to drop Ryan Evans at some point soon just because of how things are going we have Ryan Newman and Troy Greening in midfield those two not doing too bad Ryan Newman leaving a little bit to be desired but he may be getting dropped as well if he c- continues his poor performances and as you can see we have Elia Chilekwa who hasn't played for a while on the right Macaulay Southern behind the striker Jamie McDade on the left wing and Reese James up front who has been pretty good all season I mean Kane McLagan was still annoyed after my first team talk of the season. Just really, really hasn't performed. And wingers, we're really struggling for wingers to perform. And Macaulay Southam is supposed to be one of our best players. And he's just not performing. So this is the team for today then to take on Aberystwyth. Because of the lack of real quality in the team, I'm kind of looking to play a little bit of Route 1 football. And that's what we've tried to go with so far. Um, but... It's, it's it's really, really hit and miss because you saw we won those two games in a row and they were really, really good, gritty performances and we deserve to win both games, really. And last game against Bangor, you can't really read too much into that because they are one of the best teams in the league, a professional side in real life, and they're going to be up there battling with TNS. So that's not nothing to worry about, but a good kind of predictor how things are going against these teams like Aberystwyth and Carmarthen and to see how we can cope against that. And away today... It's, it's going to be important to try and keep things tight and not concede any stupid goals. Because one of the goals we conceded against um, Bangor was, was absolutely awful. And it looks like Jamie McDade could be injured already, which means we might be forced into an early substitution. And the standard of football in the games that we've been playing is absolutely horrendous as well. We're kind of like the masters of killing the game dead, pretty much. And you can see here there's been absolutely no chance. There's been one shot on goal so far and it hasn't gone on target and it looks like oh, there we go we've had a second shot but we're going to approach half time and it's nil nil without a single highlight so it's um not the most entertaining game of football by the sounds of things and you can see yeah, the ratings aren't the best as well where apparently ryan evans has lost a lot of possession but we'll give them a we're not doing badly and try and get out in the first half and maybe nick a chance to get to get a win if if this finishes nil nil with no highlights that would be um, a little bit worrying. Not worrying, actually, a nil-nil draw against Aberystwyth is a fantastic result. But it'll be a little bit um, boring to watch, I suppose, from a from a viewer's perspective. And the only highlights we've had so far went from the from the kickoff. But we have a highlight here: Mazzaro with the ball all the way over the top, and it goes all the way to the goalkeeper in Aberystwyth goal. And Muller he kicks it up. We win the header. Ch- Chilekwa with it now. Greening 
into Reese James. He gets tackled. Falls to Chilek with only he gets tackled as well. Question of a foul. Ball goes over the top. Wades in on goal and he scored. That is pretty much all, every single goal this season. It's just been over the top and we just cannot deal with it. We cannot deal. Maybe I think we need to play deeper. I mean, there's a question of a foul here. I mean, you, you tell me that's not a foul. He's gone nowhere near the ball. And who's that? Is that Watkins? Yeah, he's been absolutely beaten for pace by Wade. And the goalkeeper's got no chance there. So maybe we need to drop our back line a little bit to not get caught by those balls over the top as much. And you can see that's the, the only highlight. And Johnny Lynch has also picked up an injury now. Muller with the goal kick. Up it goes. We have can't win the header. Wade's got the ball. Gives it up wide to Kellaway into the box. And it was deflected, I think. It didn't really um, look like he went for that. But Mazzaro collects the ball and actually makes a, a decent save for once. Ball goes up. This highlight may not be finished yet. Melvin with the ball to Carroll. Up to oh, Wade is in again. He shoots. It's blocked. Hobson shoots. And it's just wide. Okay, we're going to have to change the tactics, I think. We're going to drop slightly deeper to just not get caught out as much. We're going to bring off James for Thomas. Stick him on as a poacher. I think we're going to have to bring on McLaggen, even though he's been awful this, this season so far, and he's one of our best players. It's really annoying that he got annoyed on that first day. The chance here, though, Mazzaro kicks the ball up. Just 25 minutes left now. McLaggen gets the ball. He's got a chance to cross it here. He can. Thomas, and it's one all. Reese Thomas. I think I'm going to start him next game because he came off the bench and scored against Bangor as well. And that's two games in a row he's scored now. It's a fantastic cross by McLaggen. He, well... Kettle probably should win that header. But it's a great, great first touch. McLaggen with a lovely cross. And Reese Thomas, if he didn't score that, I would be very, very disappointed indeed. Our first shot on target. Both shots on target this game have actually ended up in the, in the back of the net. We've got 15 minutes to go now. I'm not sure if I want to make another change. Reese with a throw in. Good chance here. McLaggen gets tackled a bit too easily. And the ball goes over the top to Hobson. We've set our players bit further back now goes out to Carroll please don't concede here it goes into the box and it just over from Hobson you don't really expect him to score that but it's all right for us because we don't want them to score <laughs> and we're going to make one more change I think we'll bring off Newman uh, for Dorian no that's not yeah actually yeah and we'll stick him on as a ball winning midfielder to try and get a little bit more defensive midfielder in there and uh Try not to concede a goal in the last few minutes. Mullock with a goal kick now. All the way up it goes. Hobson wins on the header like he does usually. Reese kicks the ball back up, though. We could launch a counter-attack here. No. McKenna to Kellaway. Goes into the box and Mazzaro gets it. I can't imagine that that's the end of the highlight. There's probably something else here. Mazzaro with a kick up. You'd expect him to get a little bit more distance on that. But we've got the ball. Out wide to McLaggen. Into Thomas. There's a run making through. Oh, that's an awful pass. It's a really, really terrible pass. Aberystwyth with the coming back at us now. And it's a really poor pass from them. And we've got a chance to launch a counter-attack here. Thomas to McDade. This runs down the middle. We could get onto this. Southam's through on goal. He's hit the post and he's hit the goalkeeper. Oh, that was it there. That was the chance to win the game. That was it right there. And he's hit the post and has come off the post and hit the goalkeeper. And it doesn't... Well, there could be another chance left in this. And actually, no. It's probably... No, nah, they definitely get... Unless they score the three kick. Wade... Ryan Wade has scored a free kick in the 94th minute. As soon as I saw it go to 94, I thought, yes, we've, we've had a good point. And Wade, there's a five-man wall there, and he's got it into the back of the net, and we're going to end up losing this game now. God damn it. In After all the injury time was up, we've managed to concede a free kick, and they've scored it. After what was a really, really decent performance as well, that's really, really bad. And they've not liked the, the team talk as well. So we're on a little bit of bad form right now, unfortunately. Johnny Lynch is out for one to two days. He's been injured a couple of times. And if we take a look at our schedule now, we've lost three games on the bounce. Not incredibly convincing defeats as well. So it's not as if we're playing awfully. We've just been caught over the top. We'll fiddle about with the tactics. And probably the next game I'll come back for is the big one against Tier NS. So if we look at the table, I mean... Is Clandidno and Cardiff Met haven't played yet, but they can't overtake us anyway because of points. But we're ninth in the table. If we were to finish ninth, I don't think it'd be the worst finish in the world. But we need to pick up our form a little bit. I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you have any tips or comments, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you again. <laughs>